Here we will learn about pure substances and mixtures. Collect some amounts of wheat grains, rice grains, salt, sugar, tea leaves, stone and cumin seed, zira. Observe through a magnifying glass. You will observe that wheat grains, rice grains, sugar, tea leaves and cumin seed, zira, are made up of one kind of substance. So, such type of substances are called pure substances. Salt and stones are made up of more than one type of substance. So, such type of substances are called impure substances or mixtures. Stalks are dried in the sun before grains are separated from them. Each stalk has a large number of grains attached to it. These grains cannot be separated from stalks by hand picking. In this method, farmers make small bundles of these stalks and then hit it against the hard wall of ground. On doing so, the grains separate from stalks. The stalks are spread on the ground and bullocks run over it in circles. This in turn separates the grains from the stalks. Separation is a process that separates components of a mixture from each other without any change in chemical composition. Let us conduct an activity to separate mixture of grain hustle and stones. Mix some wheat, dry piece of straw and very small pieces of paper. Place the mixture in a flat steel plate. Put a table fan on a stool and switch on the fan. Stand in front of the fan and drop the mixture from a height in such a way that the air blown by the fan pushes the mixture while it is falling. Collect the materials on a newspaper placed on the floor. Do all the three types of material fall at one place? The grains fallen straight in downward direction whereas dry straw and paper are blown far away. Take 250 grams of wheat grains from flour mill or market. Spread them on a white sheet of paper. What do you see? You will find there are small pieces of stone, straw and some other grains in addition to wheat grain. Remove these unwanted grains so as to obtain clean wheat grains. Thus, hand picking is convenient method of separation provided the quantity of mixture is not very large. These days, threshing machines are used to separate the grains with the help of combs. In the process of sieving, the components of a mixture are separated using a sieve, as there is a variation in size of particles. A sieve is a woven screen such as a mesh or a net. Sieving can be used to separate stones from sand. Another example of sieving is to separate small sized weeds from wheat grains. Take some pebbles along with fine dust in a glass. Fill two thirds of the glass with water and stir it with a spoon. Allow it to settle down. What do you notice? You will notice that the lowest part has pebbles, sediment, while the upper layer of water, decantent, has suspended impurities. This is called sedimentation. Tilt this glass and slowly take the water out without disturbing the sediments. And this is called decantation. Take about 10 grams of wheat flour and mix some dry pulses, a few pebbles and a few pieces of straw in it. Now, take a sieve and put the mixture in it. Place the clean plate under the sieve and gently shake it. You will observe that wheat flour passes through the sieve, but the pulses, pebbles and straw are left in the sieve. You will need a funnel, a circular piece of filter paper, two beakers, a stand and some muddy water. Hold the circular piece of filter paper as shown and make a cone out of it. Fit this cone into the funnel. Keep a beaker below the funnel. Take muddy water in another beaker and slowly pour it onto the filter paper in the funnel. You will notice that clear water comes out from the funnel 
and collects in the beaker below. On taking out the filter paper and opening it out, you will see the particles of mud trapped in it. Take a beaker and pour 100 milliliter water in it. Add mud in it. And stir well to obtain muddy water. Tie the pieces of alum to a long cotton thread and hang in a beaker so as they don't touch the bottom of beaker. You will notice that the alum will help the clay particles in water to combine with each other. In a few minutes, the mud will settle down and clear water will collect above the mud. Filtration is generally used to separate liquids and solids using a filter. There are different types of filters around us like filter paper, dusk mask, rice stainer, lint filter in clothes dryer, sand stainer, etc. Filter paper is like a sieve with many tiny holes in it. This method is applied when the solid component is not soluble in the liquid component. In order to carry out filtration, take a circular sheet of filter paper and fold it in the form of a cone as shown in figure. The cone is fitted in a funnel and moistened so that it sticks to the surface of the funnel. The funnel is placed on a flask or in a funnel stand. The solid liquid mixture is then slowly poured in the funnel with the help of a glass rod. The liquid component passes through the filter paper and is collected in the flask, whereas solid component is left on the filter paper. The liquid component that passes through the filter paper is called filtrate, while the solid component that remains on the filter paper is called residue. Filtration is generally applied in combination with other methods. Make a solution of salt by taking half a glass of water and adding two teaspoons of salt to it. Pour the clear solution into a shallow plate. Heat some water in a pan and cover the pan with the plate having salt solution. After some time, when all the water has evaporated, the solid salt is obtained again. Modern Techniques Modern water filters use the technique of RO or reverse osmosis and ultraviolet radiation to purify water. Understanding Magnetic Separation Magnetic separation is used to separate magnetic substances from a mixture using a magnetic force. Take 5 grams of iron fillings and 3 grams of sulfur powder in a 2 china dish separately. We put a magnet close to the pieces of iron and sulfur powder. You will observe that iron fillings gets attracted towards the magnet while sulfur is not attracted by magnet. Mix and crush iron fillings and sulfur powder. Heat this mixture strongly till red hot. Remove the flame and cool the mixture. Iron sulfide is formed by combination of iron and sulfur. If we put a magnet close to the pieces of iron sulfide, iron present in iron sulfide does not get attracted towards the magnet. Take 1 liter of full cream milk. Pour the milk into the jug. Churn the milk with the help of a churner for 4 to 5 minutes and observe. You will observe that before churning or centrifuging, the solid particles were uniformly mixed all through the liquid. After centrifuging, the lighter cream has collected at the top and milk without cream has remained below. Take some common salt in a glass watch and place it on the table. Place a beaker half filled with water on the table. Fill the spoon with common salt and pour it into the water. If the common salt dissolves completely, 
add another spoonful of it and stir. Continue doing so till the salt stops dissolving. You will find out that a fixed amount of water can dissolve only a fixed amount of soluble substance. Such solution is called saturated solution. Heat the solution and with rise in temperature add another spoonful of common salt and stir. You will observe that it also dissolves. However, if you continue adding the salt, a stage will come when it will stop dissolving. You will find out that with the rise in temperature of water, the amounts of soluble substance which dissolve in it increases.